Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Brian's Badass Reviews. Whew. I built this thing yesterday. So we're gonna talk about today. Nothing but net. Kick the intro. Hey everybody, welcome back to Brian's Badass Reviews. Thanks so much for stopping in the channel. Don't forget to hit that bell notification. I got new videos coming out pretty much every single week. Hit that bell notification, it'll let you know when new ones are coming out. And don't forget to hit that like button. Today I wanna to talk to you about this basketball hoop that I put together for the kiddos. So I got two daughters that are both in basketball, both in middle school, both just starting their basketball careers. But I'm super stoked that my girls are in basketball and it's so much fun watching them play. I love going to the games and all that stuff, right? So for Christmas, the wifey and I decided to get the girls a basketball hoop. Girls opened this up December 24th, 2019. So it's been just a little over a month that this bad boy has been occupying my garage. So we opted for the 54 inch poly carbon eye krypton infused magna steel ultra, I, I don't know what it is, but it's a, it's a big basketball. It's, it's from Spalding, the 54 inch Spalding poly something, something, something or another. I hopped on the old YouTube and I typed that in how to how to put together this thing right and I saw a whole bunch of people on there and they're putting this thing together and it looks like a nightmare I think one guy it took him like a day and a half to put it together and so I'm like all right well I'm gonna have to add this to my honey-do list right but in the meantime it's been taking up space in my garage and the Harley which let me show you right here let me let me show you the Harley has been quite upset at me saying, hey man, you're taking up my space. What are you doing boxing me in here? Long story short, I finally got off my dead and decided to put this thing together. That's what this video is gonna be about today. Now this is not gonna be a how-to. I'm just gonna throw together a quick time-lapse to show you guys kind of what was involved in everything. Thanks so much to my daughter, Eliana. You'll see her in the video. She was a great help. I don't know what the YouTube rules are on having kids in the videos, but it's a time-lapse. I needed a pair of hands. She was helping me out. Cut me a break, YouTube. But anyways, let's drop some dope music. I'll be back afterwards to tell you how it all went. I am not looking forward to putting this together.
So not bad, right? So I was actually very surprised on how easy this thing was to put together. You know, I sat for a month and I was worried about, oh, it's gonna take me this. I'm gonna have to carve out a day and a half. I'm gonna be working late in the night putting this thing together. It really wasn't too bad, guys. First thing I will say is the instructions are very easy to read. Let me grab the instructions for you real quick. Just show you, because it's a lot of pages and it was a little bit scary. All right, so here it is. Here's the instructions. See so if you guys can see this. Spalding Portable Basketball System Owner's Operating Manual. It's got the picture of the final product there. Goes through, tells you. These are our instructions, still instructions, instructions, instructions. Gets into more stuff. There's the, you know, fill in, put this together and do that. You gotta kind of really look at the pictures to see how things are, are set up, right? Page after page after page, page after page, page after page. But in the end, it all worked out and I was able to kind of go step by step by step by step. I only had to kind of reverse a couple times. There was one part where I had to take a piece off because I couldn't get the, the extender handle in there and so I had to loosen up some bolts and stuff like that. But I'll tell you what, very good job Spalding on your instructions. I put lots of things together in the past and have not had that much ease doing it. Um, it was very well written out step by step and at the end you had the finished product. The only thing that didn't quite work out on it was the basketball return that goes on to the bottom is missing three screws. Uh, it didn't quite line up with the main pole. That's what she said. Support that, that holds the main beam up, that holds the backboard and all that stuff up. They didn't quite line up, but you know what? It's not going anywhere. It's not doing anything. I was able to get three bolts in there, get it tightened down. It's not, it's not gonna take off anywhere. So, holy cats. I'm glad I'm done with it. I'm glad I got space back in my garage. My daughters are gonna have a ton of fun with it. We've already, I've already played one-on-one -on -one and figured out how freaking out of shape I am. I said, all right, let's do this. First one to 10 wins, you gotta win by two. And we started going and and then like three minutes later, it was like, whew, all right. First one to five, first one to five, because I can't, my sides hurt and I'm sweating and my, my muscles hurt and this is not cool. So, but we've already had a ton of fun with it, guys. Um, if you're thinking about getting yourself a basketball hoop, get yourself one of these from Spalding. It was pretty simple, I think, all in all. Uh, it took me probably three and a half, maybe four hours to get together. So, I mean, it does take a little bit of time, but that's what freaked me out was the time that it was gonna take to put this thing together. And it really wasn't too bad, about three and a half, four hours. And uh, we were playing basketball, we were shooting hoops. Just a quick one for you guys today. I hope you liked the video. Confession, my first time using the, the time lapse on the Canon EOS M50. I think it turned out awesome. I was a little worried that the footage wasn't gonna turn out and I was gonna have to, I don't know, scrap this whole idea for the video, but time lapse works, so that's that was, I'm super excited about that. Hope you guys liked the video. Hope you guys liked the channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Don't forget to smash that like button. Hope you all have a great day. That's all I got for the review today. You guys gotta be kind to each other. You gotta do what makes you happy. I'm out. Peace.